you idiots what I hate most is disloyal people so it'll be my honor to kick his ass and take the RCW title for you introducing his opponent he is the reigning and defending RCW world underground champion from Calville and Wisconsin weighing at 219 pounds the new Messiah, Nicholas Hello folks and welcome to another episode of WCE. It is Rise to the Occasion today as we start off strong with Nicholas Krenzen versus Prince Charles, a submission match for the RCW World Underground Championship. It is I, your favorite commentator, Sir Kyle Creamer, alongside Debo Sampson. Isn't that right, Debo? That is right, Kyle, and we are here today in Right away, you see Charles going right after the iron bar in the submission match, but Cranzen not wasting any movement here and gets a nice good old side headlock there on Prince Charles. 
And we've seen people lose to take headlocks and takeovers in the past. But ooh, and Charles just raked the eyes there of Nicholas Crenson, but you know, fair fair play is fair play. There are really no disqualifications in this match. That is correct. The only way to win this match is to make your opponent tap out. A nice suplex. That was a pretty suplex, that's for sure. Very, very textbook. Very textbook vertical souple. Is that what they call it? That's what the French call it. Ah. And oh, just knees right to the spine of Crenson, who, who not only was in a the hell was the last man standing match last weekend. He also had to deal with being smacked, having glass in his back and being whacked with a light tube and being put through thumbtacks. And, not to mention, it was like 97 degrees out there, and I heard he got a really bad sunburn to the point where his skin was starting to peel off. Yeah, Debo, but you're forgetting one thing. Crenson betrayed the WCE roster when he turned his back on Sean Jovi and Darkfire. That is correct. Oh, look at that oh, finger that's snap. God damn finger snaps of Crenson's. Right. What's he doing? He's going to do it again. Get Not again. Not again. Oh, oh, God, oh, God damn it. God. And those fingers have to oh, be worn he, out. He's got to be in agony, bro. What's Crenson doing here? He's working the arm of... Oh. Stretching that arm there. Yeah, he hyperextending it. He could be removing that thing from his socket for all we know. Yeah, no. Oh. oh. Charles turned the favor. Chops. Oh, oh, oh another there's chop. a nice chop. He wants us to be quiet, but those are some dandy chops, I dare say. Now he's returning the favor, pulling down, pulling on Crenshaw's arm through the ropes there. Yeah. Oh. Ref's got to break it up. That's. He's in the corner against the ropes. Well, we gotta remember, there also are no rope breaks in matches like this. Like, you can break a submission, but it's not gonna cause a deal for you. That is true. Uh oh, what's Charles going for? Oh, oh a drop kick right to the knee! Oh, it's hyper extended in the ropes like that. Oh, yep. he's a light trip. Here and comes. not wasting any momentum. And then. knee T just snapping the leg. He plants it in the ground. That's how it's done. Still, he's not, not wasting a moment here. Prince Charles wants to be a champion. And he's just going after Crenson's leg again and again. But how do, bad does he truly want it? That is the question. He's gotta keep on that leg. Exactly. Stay on the body part you're picking over. He's stomping on the leg off the rope. Working over that leg and knee of Crimson, and whoa, he's popping up to the second here rope. Go. Here we go. Here. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh god. god. That could have broken Crimson's leg there. Right oh, in the chin and knee area. Crimson grabbing at that leg. That has to be hurting really bad now. How do you like that, Crimson? How do you like that, huh? Ooh, he's talking some smack here. Oh, oh. hot shot. Hot shot on Prince Charles by Crenson there. Charles he, stumbling back into the corner. Back to... Uh-oh. And uh, look at the back! The that, back hot shot? A hot shot to the back. And you gotta remember, the, those you know those ring ropes are solid steel cables wrapped to electrical with a little thin layer of hot insulation on them. Yeah, there's not much given there. Yeah. Those ropes show no mercy. No, they don't. And Crenson oh. snaps Suplex had to fight for it. Had a struggle for that one. Looks like Crenson's... Oh, he's got another... Right in the headlock again. Right. He is hellbent on getting the headlock and oh, look at him washing his face with his arm. He's just breaking his arm with that forearm shiver. Here he goes. Go back to it again. Oh, he's gonna knock some sense oh, into him. And those stiff forearms. And you gotta oh. remember, folks, that that might not look like it's hitting him very hard, but Crenson has this weird ability that he can just stiff you from not even an inch away. Yeah, he's a very, very, very delicate and strong striker. That is right. And here we go. Both men struggling to get up. And I remember watching back the when Crenson defeated Jovi for the title. It, we actually did the back of the oh. with 
with Sean Jovi after the match, and he even said, like, it, it, so he's, the Crenson strikes are so deceptive because you think he's not putting much force when you're, you're watching him, and he's not right. And Jovi literally showed him. Like oh, here it comes. Oh, uh -oh, what is he going for? Yeah, well, that thought we might have a Friday night special going on here on a Saturday, might I add? Oh, nope, he's going last storm style. Oh, he's going. With a one leg Boston crab. A half so, crab, one leg crab. Crabs are half off today because it's not Friday night. Oh, oh, very no. oh. Uh -oh. oh. And he's got it. Oh, uh -oh. He's got his reversing. Oh, oh. oh, fell right on the leg. Yeah, that reversal might have not gone too well for Crunchin there. Still still feeling his leg. Yeah, he did, he's, He's rough checking on him yeah. since he was all right. Yeah, I don't know. That, he looks like he could be seriously hurt here. That is right. That knee just been grabbing him ever since. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. It might be time. It might be that time. Crab leg dinner, baby. Struggling and he's trying to watch yep. Crenson Wait, What's he got there? He's oh. got the RCW Championship. Oh, he's getting over it. Oh, he just, he just whacked. whacked. Prince Charles running the face with that belt. Yeah, the leather and the studs looks like it just bitch slapped him in the face. That was one hell of a maneuver there. There it is, and he's waiting for Charles to get up. He's got the belt again. He's got those dirty tricks stacked. Here it comes. Oh! Right off the face of Prince Charles. And what is he saying? You're right? getting to this belt. Oh. This is the closest you're ever gonna get to the title. What is he and, doing? Oh my God! It's oh, he's just strangling him with the belt. Just rubbing it in his face. Literally rubbing it in his face. Choking him out using the belt to help with the leverage. What a savage human being. Enough said. Well, it might be night night indeed. There's one. Charles in tempo, but he sure did lose the submission match. It's going to be a technical submission here, it looks like. Yep, there it is. Out. Technical submission. Out freaking cold. The winner of the match and still RCW World Underground Champion, the new Messiah, Nicholas Cranston. Give me a mic. I need a mark. I need a mark. Like I said, right now, that's as close as you're ever going to get to a title. Once you get your priorities straight, kid, then maybe you've got what it takes. I know you do. As for everybody else, Whoa. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Dark Side just came out of the back with a kendo stick and he's just laying in the to Crenson with that kendo stick. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? One minute we see Crenson Wait. going back. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. Dark Side's got the golden ticket. He's got it's time. Dark it's Friday's time. Let's do it. Not that traitor in the next week. And Dark Side just laying waste to Crenson who's going right to town on him. Beat his freaking head off. Come on. Come on, Darkfire. Come on, Darkfire. You got this. Go for it. Stoner. Stoner. 
Yes. And out. What is that? And. There we go. Oh. Oh, sharpshooter. He's got the sharpshooter locked in. Deep, might I add. Oh. And it's Chris Attacks! Chris Attacks! We have a new RCW World Underground Champion! Dark Flair has successfully cashed in the golden ticket, and now he's our new champion! He's just taken the belt off of Crimson! And how, how poetic this is! Dark Fire! After so much how he went through the last week getting not just destroyed but concerto twice because of Nicholas Crenzen. Not just that, but think about the journey he's been on. Almost two years, yes, and it's been nearly two years since Jeff last held the RCW championship. Now this will be his fifth reign as RCW World Underground Champion. That's right. He's in the history books and he has once again solidified his legacy within the RCW. What a moment folks and we'll be back with more of Rise to the Occasion.